Okay, uh, that's a lot of time about nipples. Sorry, yeah. No more nipple talk. Um... So, Devstream 178 live from PAX East has just ended, which means we have a lot, and I mean a lot, to talk about. So let's just jump right in. Now, this is the first live dev stream outside of a Tenocon event in years, so you know something good is going to be shown. And to be honest, it didn't really disappoint. Now, there was some talk about Styanax's deluxe nipple tassels and how they will be removable if you want to. It's entirely up to the user, but that kind of explains Warframe's kind of wacky community at times. Now, the dev stream, quick note, if you're interested in infested liches, apparently something about them will be shown or spoken about at Tenocon in July, so make sure and stay tuned for that. Now, some of the biggest news from the dev stream at PAX East was that Digixtremes are trying to get another major update for us out between the Dante Unbound update next week and the Tenocon update in July. But it is a very, very ambitious update and they're going to try their best to hit the actual time. So, delayed. Now, the update <laughs> is a story that they've wanted to tell for two years and it is an update dedicated to this stalker. The update is called Jade Shadows. As you can see from this image, this is our 57th Warframe Jade with a weapon of her own design. Looks a little bit like a two-handed pole arm, but could also technically be a spear gun at the same time. And in the background, that red thing in front of Jade is either Hunhau, which I don't think it is, or it is Stalker's Landing Craft, which Rebecca did mention during the dev stream. But you can let me know in the comment section below what you think that is. It definitely has a sentient vibe to it, and Hunhau has been silent for quite a while. Now, this update is going to be a cinematic quest going over things from Stalker's point of view but will also bring a new clan event as well, Rebecca mentioned. So with Jade as our 57th Warframe, that's kind of all we know about her. We don't know anything about abilities or anything else. Uh, with her being our 57th Warframe, it means that we only have one letter left in the alphabet to name a Warframe after, and that letter is U. So we almost have a Warframe with every letter in the alphabet. Now, we also seen some new Warframe 1999 footage with a teaser, and this is it. So Arthur in Warframe 99 has a bike called the Atomicycle, which we were told during the dev stream will play a huge role during the Warframe 1999 update. So expect to see and use it a lot throughout your gameplay. With Arthur being the 99 version of Proto Excalibur, we also now see the 99 version of Proto Mag called Owie, who we heard sound effects from during the original trailer all the way back at Tenocon last year. So we knew that Owie was Mag, she was involved and she was on the way, but now we know what she actually looks like and she looks amazing. Now, Owie is also voiced by Alpha Takahashi from Cyberpunk 2077, who played Hanako uh, Arasaka. So she is the voice of Owie, while Ben Starr is the voice of Arthur. So there are two huge names for voice actors for our characters with the Warframe 99 update. Now we know 99 is pretty much core Warframe, just with a different or more modern setting, with a conflict between humanity and the not human, those kind of 99 versions of the infested. So slightly different, but not the very styled different, still Warframe at its core. Now, the Dante Unbound update is also coming next week on the 27th, with the story of Drusus and the Levarian being in the clutches of Parvos Granum and his greed. So we're going to have to track down its chronicler, Dante, in order to help save the Levarian. And during the dev stream, they also showed us a slight teaser of what you can expect next week. This is it. This room was to be a shrine to one of my dearest friends. But now that shall never come to pass. Now with this update you can also expect new augment mods, 
the new Entrati Disruption mission, the Grizzling, <laughs> who's going to steal all of your stuff. You're going to have the Ruvox Fist Weapon, the Onos Arm Cannon, which are, of course, two new sets of Incarnan weapons. You can jump into the new endgame missions, which is Deep Archimedia. We've got the Inneros Rework. We've got the Styanax Deluxe set. You've got Dante himself. And of course, you've got a lot, and I mean a lot, of quality of life changes. So that's next week on the 27th. But this is the next primed Warframe, Protea Prime. A Warframe that totally wasn't leaked by Rebecca during the last dev stream. But this is what she's going to look like. This is her concept art. We don't know what she's going to look like in the game yet, but she will have a universal aura slot. This is her Velox Prime pistol and the Okina Prime melee weapon. And of course, the Rothron Prime Cyandana coming with her accessory pack. She will also be coming with her very own Prime trailer as well. Now, this is also Yareli Deluxe, but it isn't the finished article yet. It is still being worked on, so it's an early look at, I guess, the progress of the Yareli Deluxe skin, complete with a Compressor Deluxe pistol as well. Now, Warframe is 11 years old, and as a result of this, every year there is the anniversary events, which are live right now over the next eight weeks, which means there's going to be a lot of alerts giving away free weapons and free items over those eight weeks with the alerts for you to jump in and get them. So make sure you log in in order to get those items or at least the weapon slots if you already own the weapons. Now, the new Dex Nakana coming with this year's anniversary is coming next week with the Dante Unbound update on the 27th. And the way you're going to get this is simply by logging in from the 27th onwards. So there are a lot of things that you're going to be able to get your hands on over the next eight weeks if you're new to Warframe. And with the update dropping next week, a lot of us are going to get some new stuff as well. Now, we were also shown some more footage of Soulframe and what we can expect during its early alpha state. This is that footage. Where yon the veil did I chance to see you? The little minnow in the clear. A foundling here of mother's sorrow, conveyed to me by beaver, by sparrow. Blighted, yes, or so they say. More righted, though, in feyish way. So come gather motes of loving world. Come gather arms against old and herd. And join our family beyond your blood. For blight is child of everyone. Even bears. So just in case you didn't know, Soulframe, of course, is a game also being made by Digital Extremes, and it is being called the sister game to Warframe, as in Warframe is fast paced, but Soulframe is slow paced. It is in a very early access state right now, and they are doing a lot of, I guess, testing on it and improvements on it, but they are hoping to have a more stable version of the game fully released, hopefully later this year for all of us to jump into and give us a possible founders option to help back the game as well comparable to what warframes founders packs were back in the day but maybe not as restricted now during the teaser for soulframe we did actually get our first look at bromius the grizzly bear omen beast for soulframe as it sat down with the big happy head on it i'm guessing this is bromius after it maybe tries to eat us and we save it and it eventually becomes nice and friendly a bit like the deer that they showed off on the previous one at tenocon where you had to fight the deer and then when you saved it it was helpful, but it still hit you a headbutt and knocked you on your butt. So I'm hoping that Bromius is something we get to fight as well and then save. Now, during the Q&A section of the dev stream, which did go on for a while, and there was a lot of good questions and a lot of, I guess, fluff questions as well, Rebecca was asked about the old Void Keys um, with Warframe, the old T3, T4, and asked whether they were going to make a comeback or not. And she did say that they're not dead and that the, uh, the Gath Keys that came with her update were a tease or a test of that style of system and that the new Omnia Fishers are pretty much a similar style of key item to what we used to have allowing you to farm unlimited amounts of primed items. 
as what the old keys would have done. But that's pretty much the main objects of the dev stream. Let me know in the comment section below what you like the look of, what you didn't like the look of. And if you're looking forward to the Dante Unbound update next week on the 27th, I will leave a link to the full dev stream in the description of this video. Have a great day, have a great week, and as always, thanks for watching.